Hey guys, welcome to this video, my name's Attempster. Today I wanted to do something slightly different to the previous tutorials. So, uh, last few weeks I've been doing Project FPS tutorial series. I think we got to part 10 last week, so this week I just wanted to quickly go over GPL in the Blender game engine, also in the exporting and just talk about how that sort of all works and what this means for you and for the games that you create. So right here I have a quick summary of the GPL version 3 license, stuff you can, cannot and must do. As you can see here, anyone can commercially use it, modify it or distribute it, give it away legally. We all know that games eventually all get pirated anyway and you can download them for free, but here uh, you can actually do it legally. So that's sort of one downside to it. The big one, I think mainly for game developers, is the disclosing source and including original. Basically, if someone asks, hey, can I have your original source files that you made the game with, you are legally obliged to hand them over. Now, one thing I want to make clear is uh, this blend file here by itself is not under GPL. You can license that under anything you want. Any blend files that you create using Blender are not actually under GPL, so you can sell them and license them to anything you like. However, Blender itself, also if you go to File, Export, and Save as Game Engine Runtime, both of those are under GPL. So if you do uh, decide to save as Game Engine Runtime, which is currently the only export option available, it is still under GPL. Uh, which means that your game, once you export it out as an executable, will still be under GPL and you'll be obliged to follow all of these rules here. Now while there are a couple other add-ons which you can use to export out your game, so it doesn't have GPL, the easiest way is to actually only use the GPL exporter on a startup file and then manually load in your actual game file. So right here I have my starting file, it just says press space to start and it has a camera, if I press space then it opens up my game file. Now the easiest way to uh, divert around using GPL is actually to use two separate files. So to do that um, one of them needs to be your completed game, so right here I'm going to add myself a cube, a plane, uh, I'm going to change it to textured, make it GLSL, and then maybe we'll make this cube here, we'll make it pink. Okay, so this is going to be a finished game. Oh, better go to Blender game and change it to dynamic. Alright, so there we go. That's our finished game that we want to export out. So to do that, instead of just going export, save as game engine runtime, what we're going to do is make another dot blend that opens up this one. And then we'll be using the GPL, save as game engine runtime, on the starting dot blend. So what you want to do is get your entire file once you finish the game, save as, and then save it in a folder as game. Or you can call it anything else you want save it as a blender file then what you want to do is make a new file over here and then uh, this is going to be your starting file so what I'm going to do is over here I'm going to add myself in a just some text and in here I'm just going to type press space to start game alright I'll just rotate it around just so the player can see it like that Alright, and then I'm going to up here, change it to Blender Game, move over to Textured, and choose DLSL Shading. Um, there we go. Okay, so I'm happy with that, and this is going to be my game starter file. So what I'm going to do before I do anything else is go to Save As, and this will be my starting file. So I'm just going to call this, actually Initialize is probably a better name initialize, there we go, initialize or start.blend, save that, and then what we can do is over here on our camera, we want to change this to game logic, and we want to on the camera, or it can actually be any object, and then you want to add a keyboard, this can be space because we're told the player to press space, and then in here we want a game, 
So join those two together. And then from in here, we want to click open and we want to open up game. Alright. And so now that will open up the game. If we press P and press space, well, there's our game. So we'll go into textured, try that again. And there we go. There is our game opened up uh, by using another dot blend. So what you can also do is over here just change this to always and then you don't even need this. Um, as soon as you press P then it will instantly switch to the other dot blend. So that is uh, yeah, just simply how that works. So what you can do now is once you have your starting file here, we'll just save that. So what you can do now is you can go to file, export and save as game engine runtime. Now this will sort of encode this dot blend right here under GPL but what that means is that anyone that asks for source code all you have to do is give them this dot blend and this doesn't have anything in it except an always an and and opening up your game file since this is the only one you exported using GPL so what I can do now is go to file export and save as game engine runtime um, I'm just going to choose here initialize.exe and then I'm going to save it as Game Engine Runtime. There we go, that will take a little while to load. And there we go, finished. Now what that will do is that will put this one initialize.blend right here. Only that will be under GPL. Your game will not be under GPL because you're opening that up separately. Now if we go over to our folder where we exported it out, as you can see here, initialize we open it up and there we go there's our game started up so again this is just opening up this blend file right here now there is one problem and that is that anyone who has blender can directly open up your file just by opening this and then just clicking on that and they have your game instantly and all the sort of files to it now there are not a lot of ways around encrypting this uh, and also exporting stuff out that can get pretty messy pretty fast so a very simple way to do it is basically just to rename this right here so what we can do is just click in there and then instead of dot blend we can put in something like DAT or something it will pop up with a warning and we can just click yes so now that won't be openable straight away but obviously anyone changes the name to dot blend again um, will be able to open it so as you can see here they can open it again but at least if you put a different extension like DAT or something in front of it they won't be able to open it up without tampering with the file in the first place so you can do that to the game file itself and then if we open up this initialize here you go it doesn't actually work at all now the reason for that is because we've changed the name here and it doesn't recognize it anymore so go over to initialize.blend what we need to do here is reopen up the file this time the changed version okay and then now what we can do control s to save and now we can export it again so what you might want to do is any game files you're opening up you might want to uh, change the extension first and then now once you've sorted all of that stuff out you can go to export save as game engine runtime um, I'm just going to make a new folder just in case that messes anything up so export and then I'll click in there and save as game engine runtime right so that's finished so now what we can do is go over to our folder here go into export and there we go it hasn't opened up now the reason behind that is because um, it's not doesn't have the game file in the same folder so select this control X to cut and then go in this folder in the same one as the .exe and control V to paste. Also what you can do is before you export it, if you have it in another folder, uh, just open it up using this and then it should be fine. So now if we go into export and we have both our game.dat and the initialize in the same folder, then that should work. And there we go. There is our working game file and only the initialize 
executable is under GPL. So yeah, that is about it. Hopefully that cleared up some stuff about GPL for those of you that are sort of confused about how it works and all of that sort of stuff. So either way, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment or share. All of that stuff is greatly appreciated and be sure to subscribe for more videos. Next week, I'll be continuing with Project FPS. So again, stay tuned for that if you are into creating first person shooters. But apart from that, I think that is about it for this video. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it again. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.